Hello YouTube, welcome to another day. Today we got a York unit that is circuit one, has locked out on head pressure. Circuit two is running, circuit one is locked out. Uh, initially looking at it, the call could use a little cleaning. Uh, getting water up here on this roof will be a challenge uh, we're gonna check the condenser fans make sure they're working clear the lockout for that circuit and get up top here and see if we can check those condenser fans make sure that they're running might just have a bad capacitor so we're gonna get into it, uh, check those fans out, and see if we can get that circuit back on and running. Okay, the back two fans here, it's three and four. That's on circuit two, they're running. Circuit one, cold. Got one fan over there that came on, but this fan didn't. So we need to find out whether or not it's just got a bad capacitor or if the motor is bad. Uh, we're going to get over here in the electrical and check, make sure we got power and check the capacitors, which are down there. And see uh, what we need to do, either place the capacitor or get a fan motor. Okay, I found a wire for that fan that was turning. This one still is not. It's down here. So the fan that I really need is tied in right here onto the compressor contactor. This wire here, wire 44, which goes over here to this capacitor. So we're gonna kill the power Oh, so this unit is 480 volts. Get to that capacitor, check it, and then we'll know whether or not we got a, a bad fan motor. After checking it, determined that the motor is bad, called the supplier, and they do have it in stock. So we're gonna go get a motor, then get up on here and replace motor number two right there. So, oh. see you in shortly. All right, we're on top of the unit. Up here, this is a fan motor. We're gonna get this changed out. There's the new motor and a new blade. And get this back up 100%. Uh, let's get it apart. All right, got the fan guard off. Then he's on a plug. I can get this hitting the bracket. And, and so we're going to have to loosen it up and get it away from the bracket to unplug it. Yep. So
Okay, got it unplugged. And there's a ground screw on the bottom that we're gonna have to get loose. So let's cut these loose, uh, get it up and get that ground screw. Put some new ones on. So, get this out and be right back. All right, got the motor in, resecured the wires, got it plugged in. So, you just need to get the rain shield and get the blade back on. And get the blade, get it on and set. And get the capacitor changed and should be ready to go all right got the fan blade installed motor wire back up Let me get the fan guard put back on then go back down there and put the capacitor on okay got the unit running now replace the capacitor we just out one right there Everything is working. The alarm's cleared. And all of the condenser fan motors are now going. This is an R410 unit. Uh, bad fan motors, the reason why I trucked out on head pressure. Units operating. All right. As usual, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Until next time, have a good one.